Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to discuss about an end-to-end -end project of Spotify Data Analytics, and we are going to use the real data from the Spotify. So Spotify gives public information, so we have to create some developer account, and then we have to uh, retrieve it. So the first thing that you see, I have uh, the Spotify app, and I use the API uh, uh, by by after creating a Spotify developer account, I use that API which they provide us, and with the Python, I do a basic cleaning, and then I'll retrieve it using Python, and then I load it to CSV, and also I'll be showing you a visualization and at the same time I've created another flow from the Python I load it to MySQL and on top of MySQL I'll be performing some basic data analytics some basic SQL query some data processing okay so let's jump into the practical now so the very first thing what you have to do is you have to create one account in Spotify and after you create that account wait for 10 to 15 minutes and then just come to developer spotify.com slash dashboard and you will be finding this create app button. So I already created two uh, applications you can see here. So now just click create app and just give some name. I'll just give demo something like that and a demo so why this is required right so this will give you some uh, user id and credentials so this you have to use to interact with the api of spotify it's like kind of an authentication purpose to retrieve the data and there are some of the complex uh, private information so to get that you have to give this redirect url so for now it is local host right so i'm just giving some local host here so you have to give some authentic so if you see here right urls where user can be redirected after authentication success or failure so for that reason only not for all uh, reading data as you need this only for some of the uh, uh, private information that what Spotify provides to the user so which you have to authenticate this when you run the Python code uh, with this then it goes to a another redirection where you have to agree it like how in Gmail and all like when you enable this two-factor authentication right so in Gmail like it pops to another page where you have to give the uh, authentication ID right the OTP something like that so similar in that way and you have to select all the API usage so either Android or iOS so we are going to do with the web API but it could be anything right so just safe and side you just enable everything and then I understand and then save okay so now you created the application now I'll just go back to the dashboard let me use my uh, application which I already created so Spotify data analysis. So this is the one which I created. So go to settings. So if you go to settings, right, it's basic information. You can see this client ID. This is like a user ID and password, which I was telling before. And then view client secret. So this too is very important. Uh, so you can ask me, why are you showing this to us? So I'll be rotate this. So if you see here, rotate client secret, if I click it, uh, the it will be like a new password will be get generated so that uh, it is not a problem for me, but you should not share it to anyone. Fine. So these two is very important for you to interact with your Python. Okay, let's jump into Python. So before getting into that, let me show you the prerequisite that you have to install. So pip install Spotty Pi, Pandas, Matplotlib, and then MySQL connector Python. So install all this and back to the Python code, Spotify. So the very first code is to read the data, uh, get the needed information from that, and then like uh, store it into CSV and also at the same time visualization. So let me just show you one more thing. Uh, see, this is the track which I'm going to uh, process. Okay, so this track information, whatever available in the track, I'm going to get all the information. Okay, so this is a public track which I can use. Okay, and then there is something that I want to show you is scopes. So these are some of the scopes which uh, Spotify gives to you. Like from the third party website on an application, for example, you are building a website and where you need to retrieve some Spotify data. So if you want to retrieve some private playlist, then you have to use this scope. So this scope name will be in the Python code, whichever the code that you are writing to extract, we have to add. Only when you are using such a scope where we need that look back uh, has URL, which you have given localhost 889, right? Callback slash callback, that is required. So apart from that, if you use whatever the public information that Spotify gives, you just need only the credentials information. You don't need that lookup, uh, uh, callback, lookback uh, URL or this uh, scope names. Okay, fine. So fine. So this is the track which I'm going to show you. Fine. So first thing you have to create a Spotify client. So Spotify.Spotify. So like I'm just passing my client ID and secret key, which I showed you in the application, right? So I create a uh, client as SP. And then this is a track URL. So this is the URL which you can see here. See, it ends with RUC9LP. See, RUC9LP. Now from this URL, you have to uh, get only the track ID, which is a unique ID for every track, 
okay so for that i am using a regular expression so after track whatever this pattern matches small a to small z capital a to capital z 0 to 9 and there is no special character whatever the pattern matches take the first one that is group of one it could be any uh, length of values maybe one more uh, slash after some ids will be there but just take the first occurrence of the pattern so group one and then i'm just uh, passing this to sp dot track track id so if i print it right you will be getting a json let me just show you the json here see this is the json that you will be getting because i'm printing it from this json you have to get only the needed information so extract metadata i just need to get the metadata that means track name artist album popularity duration etc so from this json you have to take so track name so name means it will just take the name json so if you see here name the killers and then track artist name so next artist name i have to take so when you when you see like artist name like under artist you will be having a name again the killer and then heart first etc okay and then album name okay again and under album also you will be having a name tag and then popularity okay i'll show you this popularity if you see here at the last this has popularity and 60 and then duration ms so duration ms is millisecond uh, so just to get the minutes of it i just did a calculation like 60000 so this is a basic cleaning that you are doing and then finally like you are printing all this information and then you are using data frame so that means i am using pandas so data frame which prints your data in a row format and not only that it gives you lot of data frame functions which is which will make you to uh, do the stuff very easily instead of writing some 10 lines of python code if you use data frames you you can complete it in two to three lines so i'm just printing the data frame not only that i'm using this data frame to invoke two csv function this is available in data frame only and i'm writing that as a csv and the same time i'm just doing a visualization with matplotlib so this piece of code i will explain you by showing the output fine so now let me run this code okay so if you see here like uh, before i show you this matplotlib visualization let me show you this so the first print statement which i did here right so this print statement and then print df so this is data frame see it comes in a row column format right now matplotlib so what are all the information so i just need to give the features right so popularity duration in the down you can see popularity duration in minutes and the value for this popularity and duration comes here i'm getting the value track data okay and then the height and the width like 8 comma 5 and then the color is sky blue and then the black border is black and then uh, the uh, title for this track metadata and the track name you can see here in the top track metadata track name and then here y axis should be value that's what i'm giving here and finally show so the first flow is completed and the csv file also i'll show you see here spotify track data csv when i open it you can see the csv file also the next thing is i just wanted to do mysql load it into mysql so for that let me show you this so you need to create a database spotify db so all these complete code is there in my github and github link is there in the description box at the same time if you want to install mysql in windows i have given that video link also in the description box of this video fine so here the create ddl is there for you you can use it first create the table before you get into the code fine so here i'm just uh, it's the same code but i'm just adding the uh, mysql information so here i'm adding the db config so my ip address is localhost username and password is root and i created a spotify db and then i have to initiate the connection i have to create a connection and then cursor is required because after creating the connection in the code i have written some insert statement so to execute that sequence we need cursor object and then same the regex all same and now again the metadata extraction is same and then i'm writing an insert query and then i'm passing this percentages that means like in the runtime i'm going to pass the value for it so where the value comes from c cursor dot execute i'm just substituting each of this to each percentage yes here so the value goes automatically and then i'm just committing the connection and then the print statement that's it so now if i run this code let me just show you the select statement first i truncated it because i already executed it so i truncated no record so now i'm gonna run this code so this code will insert one record okay so whatever you have seen in the csv file right same thing it goes to this table now let me run this select because the code got executed see you got the record right so now imagine uh, there is a case like uh, you have like 10 tracks right in a file and then that has to be get processed and loaded into mysql now let's see that as well so now let me again truncate this table okay 
now back so i have written another code also a file track url.txt which has all of uh, the nine urls which were required for me to process and then i have written another code so totally three code i have and all these i have shared already so spotify mysql url it's the same thing what the additionally that i have added to this is open the file and read it that's it so you can see that here so the complete uh, insert logic i have written within this loop so this file should be open and then i have to iterate each line and then the complete code has been written within this particular file operation file read operation okay same code same insert everything is same and finally everything been closed so if i run this so nine record will be get inserted so let me run this code and i'm also printing it see i'm also printing it see if you see here the print statement inserted nine records with the artist name i'm passing artist in it right so now let me just run this select okay so nine records see all these data is with me now on top of this you can do an uh, etl now imagine till load of mysql part uh, one data engineering team has done and now another data engineering team has to do some kind of a data analysis on top of this mysql data right the first data analysis which i do is i have to get the uh, highest popularity track only one record so highest popularity so i'm just giving popularity order by describe and then limit one so that means it will give you one record which is 86 you can see here 86 the artist name is the police okay next average of popularity just average popularity uh, if i give like i'm getting 55.1 and then uh, whichever the duration and minutes is greater than four i have to fetch only those records okay when i run this i get three records only three records is greater than four minutes right it's all three so this is one and then two yes three records fine and then i have to categorize my popularity into three popular very popular less popular and based on that i have to get the count of the uh, records so count star as track count very importantly group by popularity range you have to give okay that is very important because if, if you just use count star obviously you have to use a group because you are using non uh, count columns logic in the select so obviously you have to use but the group by is not part of the columns which is there in the table i'm using this popularity range and i'm using a case statement here okay fine so now if you see here right uh, greater than or equal to 80 means very popular okay so output if you see very popular we have three counts less popular three counts popular three counts let's just check that so 80 and greater than 80 okay one two three okay 50 and greater than 50 okay which is 60 74 77 yes less than 50 5 5 4 and then 22 right so it's 3 3 of each that's all guys and you can if you want you can write this to an another table that's a final load so this we so far we have seen e and t l is something again you can load it by, by using insert into or the select start from or create table as function you can use right so that's all guys and if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and if you need such videos right just comment yes so that i can the product related data analytics uh, videos if you want just comment yes and the same thing you want it in cloud also just comment cloud so that in the next video i can make it in aws google cloud or azure and my instagram page is bigdata.n you can find all the information from the description box of this video once again thanks for watching